Every morning across Canada, medical residents like Dr. James Yan head to hospitals for a shift scheduled at up to 26 hours. Sound intense? Well, many other places thought so. The EU and New Zealand got rid of marathon shifts. They do increase the risk of serious medical errors and medical errors that cause harm to patients, uh, not just death, but also uh, illness and disability. Dr. Charles Seisler is one of the world's top sleep experts. So today, when you hear about hospitals that have medical residents on 20 or 24, 26 hour shifts, what do you think? It's just not safe. So I'm gonna start off just by measuring your scalp. We wanted to test that out. So Dr. Yan and cardiologist Chris Labos joined us at this sleep lab. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can. Their computers tested our reaction time, drowsiness, cognitive abilities over the course of 26 hours. He's tired. Staying awake for a day straight leaves most of us the equivalent of legally drunk. One study suggests sleep-deprived medical residents are more than five times as likely to make a serious diagnostic mistake and have a risk three times higher for errors causing death. Yeah, good to meet you. Dr. Kevin Imrie co-chaired a national panel that looked at resident hours. Fatigue and sleep depri deprivation definitely does affect performance. Dr. Imri wants an end to 24-hour plus shifts, but not by imposing a maximum length. Though in Quebec, there is a cap, no more than 16 hours at a time. She's so excited. Do you want to go to the park? Terry Matucci is a patient heading for surgery. She can't understand why Quebec has a maximum shift and others don't. It's crazy. I mean, you question why Ontario and the rest of Canada isn't that way. Who's implementing the hours? Canadian healthcare is free. We should all be getting the same service. Back at the sleep lab, our test concludes. Our tests mostly show a decline. In fact, within seconds of the last test, Dr. Labos fell asleep, sitting up. David Common, CBC News, London, Ontario.